Cudworth, and I am the artist who is having a show in the Upstairs Gallery at Water Street Studios. I've been a resident artist here for uh, close to three years. I've participated in a number of the uh, gallery shows downstairs, and this is my second solo show. The first was titled Urban Wilds. This one's titled Road Trip. And it communicates in pastel and acrylic um, that sense of place that you get even while you're traveling. You can come home from a trip and say I've been to Minnesota or I've been to Illinois or I've been to three states and you have this sort of conglomeration of memories that go along with that and those are the kinds of synapses and quick takes that we draw out of those experiences and sometimes they stick with us forever and that's what this show is about. It's about uh, finding this sense of place and finding yourself through road trips. And all the paintings in here, with the exception of one, are framed in old antique windows. And I uh, did that for a purpose, to uh, give you that sense of home while you're thinking about the place that you're going, and yet there's sort of an iconic aspect to old window frames because they've sat out there in the weather and they've seen things that we don't even see, and um, that's what this show is trying to do. You know, even when we uh, go up in an airplane, we're still on a road trip. And these first two pieces are titled uh, Aerial. And you can see it's that classic feeling of being up above the earth where you can see the entire landscape. And this whole idea of going from place to place and our sense of place is really, you know, driven by this visual orientation we have. And sometimes when we're up in a place where uh, things aren't normal the way they look from us from an earth standpoint of view we we really sort of gain some perspective in our lives and I guess the show is both a 30,000 foot view and also a right there in the moment view two of what I consider um, sort of the most fun pieces in the show uh, one is based on a um, road trip I went on when I was a young married man and we wound up uh, down at Rehoboth Beach in Delaware and just that whole feeling of this, you know, sort of um, sky filled with ocean air and the hot sun and leaning on your car, um, you know, it feels like your full, whole life's ahead of you and it truly is and yet you're sort of fixed in this place and um, sort of living in the moment. It celebrates a moment I saw literally uh, in our nearby community when I was um, driving through town and got stopped by this truck and he was backing in and out of this um, parking space trying to get in to serve a restaurant and uh, while he was doing this, this rather beautiful woman walked out in front of the truck and literally brought him to a halt and I thought it just symbolized sort of that male mentality that when, <laughs> when you see a beautiful woman you just stop everything you're doing and it's so true you know on road trips and uh, things we do in life you know there are distractions and there are you know a sense of purpose and uh, sometimes too mixed. I used to be very much a realistic painter and spent a lot of time getting the details right and um, that's good as I explored in the earlier painting I showed you of the farm scene, but one of the things that I've been doing as a painter and as an artist is one, exploring different mediums, and two, finding ways to be more expressive. And that's one of the things that being a resident artist here at Water Street Studios has encouraged me to do as you talk with other artists and uh, you participate in different shows. You know, it challenges you to be creative and think of things in new ways. And these two pieces, you know, as they are framed in these wonderful old antique windows that I've been collecting, um, are both about sort of the abstraction on a sunset. And uh, different circumstances, this one is 
uh, all about uh, winter roadside and even the loose and rich pastel colors I've used on here aren't really even an exaggeration because many times we can sort of see colors that are there if we pay attention to them and too often we just sort of say well that's purple or that's black or that's green when in fact you know as the impressionists discovered years ago there's a lot more going on in our eyes than we sometimes give ourselves credit for and both the bright green hue of a winter sky and you know these pink accents in the clouds and again here in this one you know titled sunset storm it's all about that wild kind of mixed up color you can get at twilight after a rainstorm and the glow on the streets and the feeling you get in a community or in a town after a storm like that and if you come to the show and look closely at the painting I've left some of the dust from the pastel to float over the surface and I purposely didn't spray it because that's also what happens with moisture in the real air and so I've tried to embark on a real physical journey with these paintings. I'm also a cyclist and a runner and have been for many, many years and I still get out and do that and sometimes uh, Gosh, I can get through 40 miles of riding and get home and think, what did I actually see? Sometimes I'm so focused down on the, the cyclometer or thinking about the pace or whatever, but over the last couple of years, I've really tried to open my mind up and absorb the landscape wherever I'm riding, whether it's up Wisconsin, here in Illinois, or down in North Carolina, and really, really appreciate you know that moment. And sometimes the simplest scenes are the best, and this is literally a location out west of Batavia here and it's um, out on a road that south of Kesslinger Road uh, by Caneland High School where you drive south and this cattle were out one day and so I pulled my bike over here and took some photographs because I just love the simplicity and the structure of this landscape and it just spoke to me about Illinois and I grew up visiting a farm and I still have many powerful associations with that experience and you know it's just sort of one of these classic paintings and yet I wanted to keep it loose and free because that's sort of what our minds do on these road trips is just gather things and maybe they aren't tightened down and that's what this painting is about. I also wanted to provide some sort of classic uh, paintings uh, at least one that uh, comes from my own roots as a realistic a wildlife artist and painter and this piece is um, literally draws on the fact that these two old structures in Batavia were uh, sooner or later taken down and so um, it's the sense of loss too of landscape and that uh, feeling that we sort of trust that there's going to be things there forever uh, when they're not and sometimes these older homes and uh, places that we pass year after year after year we take for granted and then one day they're gone. You can see the scale on this painting um, and uh, these old windows gave me the format on how I was going to do these and the whole objective behind this series was to uh, sort of take you on a road trip within one uh, painting. Uh, this is actually an acrylic painting of that feeling when you're driving quickly on I-80 or I-90 or any interstate. You're flying by the landscape and the weather's changing. And I'll admit this is about the lonesome feeling you get when you're driving into a strange city. The weather's not exactly pretty. You may not know a lot of people. And it all looks rather foreboding. So I wanted a couple signature pieces that sort of communicated that physical act of going on a road trip. And Back in the late 70s and early 80s, I actually hitchhiked a few times. And uh, so I wanted some signature pieces that describe that experience. And I don't think I've ever seen a painting of a hitchhiker. I've got to go look around now. Um, but 
Um, the first one here is titled Edge of Town. And basically, it's about every you know, troubled woman I've ever known who uh, went fed up with her time with frustrations with her family or uh, friends or boyfriend or any number of circumstances just decides to go. So it's more iconic, but it's also real. And, um, you know, uh, we all get trapped in circumstances we're not happy about. And sometimes a road trip can snap us out of that and give us new hope. Um, doesn't always go that way, but sometimes uh, we give it a try. So I'll share the quick story of what is essentially a self-portrait. Um, at one point I was deeply in love with a college girlfriend and had no car of my own yet. And so I convinced a friend to drive me to Madison, Wisconsin and drop me off and I was going to hitchhike from Madison west to Decorah, Iowa. And uh, one of the things you quickly learn uh, on uh, Highway 18 is there's a lot of farm towns along the way and so you get a ride of 10 miles and 10 miles and 5 miles and 10 miles. And this went on for the length of an afternoon and uh, it got darker and the sun was going down and, and a storm was going to uh, brew and I was getting pretty nervous and finally a woman stopped and said, well I've seen you like six times a day and you haven't killed anybody yet so where are you going? And so she pulled over and um, gave me a ride and said, you know, asked me what my story was and that sort of thing. And I told her this whole story about, you know, being in love with this woman and I really wanted to see her. And she goes, well, I'll take you there. And so even though she was going considerably out of her way, she drove me up to Decora and we had a nice conversation. And it was a really fortunate experience <laughs> compared to what it probably could have been standing in the rain as the sky grew dark. <laughs> and I was always thankful for that. And yet, it sort of signifies one of those moments in your life when you take a risk that isn't always sensible. This is essentially a suite of paintings. The title of Decorah Roads, you know, I, I went to college up in Decorah, Iowa, and these roads I've run on many, many times and many miles. And I developed a particularly strong relationship with that part of the country. I was born in upstate New York, and it looks like where I was born and I think there are sometimes there are situations where those experiences get tied together and it's sort of fortuitous in your life and you have this strong sense of place and a love of the place and the core in particular you know once you get out of town it's all dirt roads and so these are you know different scenarios uh, some in winter and some in fall of uh, traveling on these roads both by car and on foot um, but it's a it's a beautiful beautiful place and if you ever get a chance to go to Decora uh, it's a great experience and these are all framed as you'll notice this entire show is framed in antique windows and um, they I collected through a contact on Facebook and these in particular are mounted so that the landscape floats within them and um, I had some help in doing the framing uh, and that really really heightens the sense of uh, landscape as a thing and road trip as this, you know, intense uh, experience that we have. That's it. That's my show, Road Trip, and I uh, hope you'll come out and see the work in person.